Good morning, friends. Evan and I are here. It is early. It is 9.15 and we are in town for an allergy appointment that Evan had. Um, and I was cracking up on the way here thinking, I wish I could video while we're driving. Obviously I can't. And then it would be copyright so I couldn't share it. But we, Evan loves Whitney Houston. Like, you like Whitney Houston? Yeah? Um, he's so tired. And we jam out on the way here, like singing. He sings so loud and he does this hand motions like where he's so, just like that song, Run To You. He's like, just, it is, makes me laugh the whole way. And then, you know, I sing as loud as he does. Um, so it's like a 30 minute drive each way and that's all we're doing is singing some Whitney Houston songs. <laughs> He's pretty good at it, guys. And then the one, what was the one that was cracking me up this morning? Um, oh, I'm every woman. <laughs> he was like screaming, I'm every woman. <laughs> he has mama laughing. So we got our cowboy boots on, we're looking cute. So we're gonna go in here and then this is our only um, kind of out of the house thing today. So um, hopefully this won't take too long. He's still kind of waking up, but he had a good breakfast. So you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't know what happened yesterday afternoon. I think I typed inventory for a while. We didn't go anywhere. We had some electrical work done on this house. So anyway, something exciting. And today it's raining, which is a rarity here. Um, so we're kind of stuck cooped inside and Evan just watched Kung Fu Panda. So he is doing like Kung Fu with Lizzie in the living room. But as you know, we lost all of our clothing in the fire, or we chose not to get it cleaned. We chose to just take the money from the insurance that the cleaning costs would be. So um, our temperatures are getting a little bit cooler this coming up week, and we have absolutely zero fall winter clothes. So I went ahead over Labor Day sales um, and got Evan the things that he needs. Um, I only got one pair of joggers. They look like they're gonna be too long. So I'll probably just hold on to them until he grows into them. And I have some um, pants in my sans.com order that I was gonna place hopefully today. So I was gonna show you what I got for him. It's all really cute. I usually do laundry once a week. So I got him seven actually eight long sleeve shirts. So one for each day of the week, plus an extra in case we have to do a shirt change between that. Of course I can do laundry more often, but that just, I usually try to do it once a week. So I got him this cute one. It has little bikers right on. And then this one, I liked this color, just has like world peace. And then that in different languages the car, he'll love that, the Zoom. It's like a Hot Wheel out of control, little game controllers and headphones. I thought this one was handsome. He could wear that to church. We can kind of dress that up a little bit. And then the fire trucks. I thought this one was really cute. Trailblazer, it's like a light, light blue with a bear. And then this one was really fun, the sharks. And then I got him one zip up hoodie. It's got fun little dinosaurs and sharks on it. It's pretty neutral. And then one, this is really soft. It's like a Sherpa um, pullover. And then this is his jacket. Um, I really liked it because it's very lightweight. 
So even though it does get really cold here, um, he's still in a five point harness because of his low muscle tone from Down syndrome. So it's hard to buckle him when he's wearing a thick coat. So this is nice. And then one really nice sweater. He can wear this to church. And then I thought this was so cute, this little puffer vest. It's got the little Sherpa lined at the collar. He'll look really cute in that color. And then I only got him one pair of joggers there because they were, I mean, it says $20, but they were on sale, but they are so long. He's got like a big poo belly, but needs a shorter length. So instead of the hassle of returning this, he will grow. It's just one size off. Um, so that'll be good. At least his top half is taken care of. I bought him some longer socks for his cowboy boots. A friend of mine bought him cowboy boots literally the next day after the fire. So sweet. Um, so he just needs tennis shoes. Um, he has a birthday this weekend. So I'm, I bought him some rain boots. He loved his like farm boots. Um, so he's good if we just need to get him some more pants and he will be good for fall. Okay, another day, another saga. So it hasn't rained here in an eternity, three, three months almost. I mean, we've got a little bit here and there and it has been pouring all day and all night. So in our new living situation, we now have some water leaks that we're dealing with. And then let me show you these holes on the roof. So we have these holes on the roof and the whole roof is unstable. So the insurance company and the restoration company was unable to tarp the roof to protect the inside of our home because the roof is so dangerous. And so now we thought we were going to be able to keep our cabinet and Brian just came and oh my God, and told me that it is really wet and raining in here. Let me turn it around. I don't know if you can see that's all standing water. We knew the molding would have to come up, but we were really hoping to keep the cabinets. I guess it would depend on, whoa how wet the walls have gotten on the inside, right? <gasps> oh gosh, I don't know if y'all, oh, you can see that, it's bubbling. Oh. So, our cabinets are solid oak, very beautiful. It's just gonna depend on how much water is behind them and in the walls. The kitchen in here doesn't look too wet. It's over here in this corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no standing water on any of the countertops. Is there water inside the cabinets? No, it's just, it's just... These feel kind of damp in here to me. I don't know if that's my imagination or. Yeah, it's it's um, because the the. It's the trash man. The other man. thing is that that water is going through that um, attic with all the all the soot and all the toxic chemicals, and that's just and the floor is soaking here too. So, I mean, you can. There's. Ah, it's so dark. But there's droplets. And this this whole wall. So it's yeah, really it's all it's all right here. It seems like there's droplets on that right there. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. You can see them. Yeah. Let's check our room. It doesn't look too wet in here. I don't know if that's, is that a water spot? No, that was there. Old. Okay, download the last video. That's what's taking all the trash. Ugh. Okay, I 
how does it seem in here? I don't see any wet well. No, this isn't wet. It's not. Not too bad. Let me check. Okay, this is Brian's office slash bedroom area. <laughs> so this has been a really, I think this is over three days, like a piece together video. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, Evan has not felt well since Tuesday. Today's Thursday. And so it's been, he started off with a cold and we went and saw an allergist. I showed you a little bit of that. And then he got some tummy issues. And so Evan and I ended up staying home last night from Bible study and the kids programming. And then on Thursday nights, Brian and I lead grief share at our church. Um, he sounds like he's feeling real bad, doesn't he? He's in there playing cars. But he still has got his tummy issues, so I can't put him in child care. So Brian's gonna end up staying home tonight. He just asked me, hey, what's for dinner? And I said, leftovers. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, there's no food, bitty, food. Oh, we'll call him back. There's no um, fun food in this video, but we're just working and trying to, to get back get back to it so and then you saw just a second ago our house is now more of a hot mess with more water damage so I don't know what all that is gonna entail <laughs> um, for us so anyways I'm actually gonna leave a few minutes early and go get me a nice dinner to get to church early and eat by myself and just have some peace so I don't feel bad about it <laughs> I don't all right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we have a fun weekend, so hopefully we'll have a weekend vlog up for you in a couple days. We have an out-of-town football game, weather pending, and then Evan's eighth birthday, so it should be fun. So thanks for being here. We will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.